Black Silk again, and I'm actually doing a review of the video by Sleepy Flower about gothic clothing brands and lack of representation for people of color. I'm surprised I actually saw this video recently. Um, she posted it back in summertime, and it's now almost the end of the year, and this is the first time I'm seeing it because someone actually shared it. It wasn't a person of color, it was a non-person of color, and that shows how much that her message was getting around and not just people of color were agreeing with her. And I think that's something very important to make note of. Um, it's not just people of color who are saying representatives, it's pale, non-people of color saying this as well. So if we're all saying this, I'm still wondering why these big brands aren't taking it to heart. They aren't saying like, oh, okay, they're all saying this, so maybe we should do something about it, you know? Um, but I'm just going to cover briefly what she was talking about and give my opinions on it. It's not going to be very long. Her video was pretty long. She was thorough about certain um, things, and she also showed like a couple of clothing brands, um, which I personally feel are problematic. And, um, I'm just going to briefly go into that. So she was basically saying, saying representation is important, and basically what I just described is how important it is, like especially for newer baby bats entering the golf scene, and probably for some of the old school goths too who think things should be a certain way, because there's a lot of uh, goth elitists who are kind of like, you know, it has, should, it has to be this way and that way. And racism is still very much felt in, in the goth scene, even if it isn't directly said, um, and prejudice. So, all right, so I was basically thinking, I like how she physically showed um, the websites and not wasn't just talking about it and not saying that's bad, but physically showing everything definitely got the point across, I think, because you can actually see what she's talking about. And I actually honestly haven't been on those sites in a long time just because of their, their problematic issues and a lot of people complain about those sites. Um, they do sometimes have cute clothing, but I don't shop at Killstar or um, Dolls Kill. Um, I mostly like thrift or DIY myself um, and just make it work, like something simple like this. Um, but. I mean, they're usually overpriced, too, on top of that, I'm not going to lie. The thing I had about what she was saying about Killstar is how they kind of do like a once a month, once every month type of thing, uh, showing diversity instead of constantly doing it, and they have basically no diversity when uh, sharing their clothes. And I think this is the one that actually had plus size, and that was the only time you saw a person of color. and. Um, I'm like, we come in all sizes, and I, I, I feel like there's more with the discrimination than just um, race, honestly. I think different body types is something that, that should be more celebrated as well. I know you have a plus size section, but from what I was seeing, what she was showing, I don't know if there's a lot more to it. There was pretty much like a very small selection for plus sizes. Me, myself, personally, I am not plus size, but I like to see um, diversity with clothing brands because if I were to market, personally, I'd market to different body types and show different types of models, you know, and I think with these brands, they're just trying to do what's, trying to show what sells, and these things are selling, they're selling pretty well, I guess, um, to have such a large following, but I feel like they would sell better and have a bigger target um, area if they were more diverse. And honestly, um, I would think, like, I'm pretty good at marketing in general, and I would think that if you want to advertise something, you would want to reach out to as many groups as possible, you know, because that, that expands your brand. Um, not saying everybody's darkly inclined, but maybe some people are, you don't know. And so I know she said this brand wasn't racist, but I can't, honestly, I think some of them might be. 
I think some of them might be prejudiced. Um, for Dolls Kill and Kill Start, honestly. And um, I'm not saying the whole team is, but I think some of them definitely are. And I think they need a better marketing team. And they need to actually listen to people. Because even if these brands aren't listening to people of color, listen to the other people, the pale counterparts, the non-people of color too, because they're saying it. I look through these comments and these types of um, vlogs, you know, Instagram, their pictures, I see the pictures of Dolls Kill and Killstar everywhere. I read the comments too, and people are saying, add color, meaning diversify your models, do something different. They're not listening, maybe a little bit. And she was saying they were repeating photos for some of them. I'm just like, you can't find more models? I mean, come on. I recognize actually, um, there were two black models that were used repeatedly. And I recognize, one of them I've seen before, I don't know her name, but one was Coco Barbie or something like that. I've seen her already. I know she gets, she, has pictures around every other every place I didn't know she was represented on their website um, I don't personally talk to her but um, I'm going to support obviously so I'm that was kind of strange to me because she pointed that out um, that they were repeating with the photos a problem with dolls kill that I actually had recently and I posted it on my model page on my public figure page is that they had a blackout sale and that was they hugely or majorly use black models for that and i'm just like okay so any other time you don't do it but you have a, a giant big blackout sale suddenly you're using a lot more models and i th thought that was in very poor taste that they did that um they didn't only use black models and but i think it was kind of underhanded and in poor taste you know some people noticed it and some people were just like oh you're just offended by everything I was like, no, that was pretty underhanded of them. Um, because they also had like a t-shirt thing they had a while ago where it says goth is white. And people went the fuck off about that. So Dolls Kill is just like canceled for me. <laughs> so I wanted to very briefly mention um, how this is very common and everything goth related. Um, media, entertainment, um... Sometimes you'll get blogs specifically de dedicated to people of color, like, hey, we're in a scene, this, we're in this, we're in that, there's this name here, there's this name that. And you only have those little niche things, but like with bigger magazines for the goth community, um, it's a once in a while thing. It really is. And it, it's not, it's not often. And people are just like, wow, this, is, this person's gorgeous, you know. Look at her skin, is gorgeous. So the goth scene appreciates people of color, not just pale skin. They like to see diversity. So I'm like, why aren't, they, why aren't these people who market these things getting it in their head? Hey, um, these, the people of color, goth people of color, they're also our consumers. We want to market to them. We want to expand. We want to get the word out. Um, and I'm thinking they just don't care. They're just like, eh, they're just going to buy it anyway. You know, why should we care? Because your consumers are saying, hey, can we see something that represents us? And it's, this is so much like in an entertainment in industry as well with the goth scene. Um, it's hard for me personally, because I've looked. I, I, when I discover a person of color or a black person in um, the goth scene that does music and they're really good, I'm looking back, and this happened recently, I'm looking back, I'm just like, all this time this person's been making music and I've never heard, this, heard them before. I mean, I miss them. No one... It's because of the representation. It's because we're not we're not as widely spread and talked about as um, someone who is pale. And I'm just like that little thing, that big, that little little thing they can do would make a huge change. That's pretty much all I had to say. Thanks for watching, Silkies. Like and subscribe for more videos.